no and now let's talk about a concept which is called lambda expression or the very vital concept that we have in entire.net so let's take an uh, example here we we have to know the concept of delegate very well over here so i'll take a very simple example to understand lambda expression and then we'll try to uh, use lambda expression for our own delegate types as well so what i'll do is i'll use a new project here and i'm going to create windows form application let's name this as test events now many of you have must have already used at least once windows application so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and drag and drop this button here and then on this button click i'm just going to go and say hi so I'll go back to code here. What I'm going to do is I'm instead of going to instead of double clicking and generating the code in partial class designer file, I'm going to use now button one dot click plus equal to and then I'm going to generate a code for you. Maybe let's say I'll also specify a new object of event handler and the method name is maybe on click call me. This is the function name. We'll pass on this function name over here and here we'll have this message box dot show kind of a code and we'll just print maybe let's say text or hi hello on top of it let's run the code you click it says test so code works very fine for us now points to note here what happens behind the scene when we run the code so this is this line executes inside a constructor even if we would have double clicked on the button, it would have the code would have gone automatically under initialize component method. So it's one and the same thing, whether we write it down here or whether the Visual Studio writes down into initialize component. So what is it that happens behind the scene here? Here we are just trying to tell so-called this is registration done with the CLR event system, and we'll convey that CLR we have a button one. Whenever it gets clicked, which means when this action happens of left mouse button click on the area of button, please ask to his pointer called as event handler, which is going to go and point to some function and ask this pointer which function to execute. But then can this pointer point to any XYZ function? Absolutely no. This pointer has a, a very uh, a strict rule. This pointer cannot point to any method, but a method which returns void and which takes two parameters object type parameter and second parameter is event args over here then any method is fine here whatever is the method name that we provide that should go over here as well but then make sure same signature exists so according to the signature or rather according to the pointer method signature needs to be there and then maybe let's say pointer keeps on pointing to this method now and then whenever button gets clicked Actually, CLR gets a notification. CLR will ask this pointer. Pointer will point to this method and the code executes. And that's the reason you see maybe code execution or events and maybe events getting handled. But many number of times, developer do not have to even worry about such things as far as the controls are concerned. Because kind of event handlers or so-called you can say delegates, that's not your concern. Many number of times, this code even you won't see in your entire life because this code automatically belongs to initialize component method which ultimately goes into another partial class file just like this partial class into designer.cs file but then comes another important point to note here what will happen if at all like since this this line does not exist here this line exists inside initialize component what will happen if at all a labeler a person who does the labeling for your code if at all labeler changes this method name to suppose on click me click call me you suddenly get a zigzag line which conveys like i tried to search for on click me on click call me but we don't have a method with the same name so are you missing this method or is this mistake by or is, is this is this by by mistake so maybe this problem can happen if the labeler actually labels the code which is coders file that is form under cs and forgets to make the similar change into designer.cs file also. How can we solve this? Obviously, labeler won't be able to solve the problem. This problem is completely, uh, uh, completely rare problem. 
But then can we solve this? Yes, you can solve this. How? Obviously, by changing the naming designer file manually. Can we have a quick solution then? We can have a quick solution. What is that? Do not give a name to your method. That's insane. That is where we come back to again .NET 2.0. In .NET 2.0, Microsoft gave us a kind of a, a, a functionality which is called as anonymous method if you recall. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to again rely more on compiler. So here we go. I'm going to go and remove this method name itself. Which means now I have a method without a name. And then instead of avoiding this, like instead of having this naming problem, let's remove the naming concept itself. So again, I am going to go and copy paste it. This was this function I want to provide over here, but without a name. So cut it from here. And the anonymous method actually conveys that a new delegate will point to a method which method and this is the method that we have over here as of now so will it run again I'll run this you click on the button and it says test wow if it works how does it work and how it is different from the earlier code that we did. Just notice this guys. Button 1 whenever it gets clicked. You are telling to the CLR. Earlier you were telling to CLR. That is ask this pointer object. New pointer. Called as event handler. And pointer was pointing to some method all the time. But I don't see this code anymore over here. New event handler. If you, declare, if you see what compiler does here. Compiler is going to want to find out what's the event name. Click. So compiler is going to go and go to definition of click. Using a reflection, it's going to go and find out that is what's the delegate's name. Delegate's name is event handler. So compiler itself is automatically going to create the object of event handler on the right hand side of plus equal to. Which means this line is automatically written. That's good. But then this line also demands one method name, right? We already have a method written here. The only point to note here, this method we did not offer a name. Now, any cases, who is going to go and give a name to the method? That is going to be your compiler again. Which means compiler plays a very vital role here. And compiler is going to go and write down that method name as well for you. So that method name, new event handler written automatically. And the code is going to work as it is. What's in it for me? So the problem of you can say labeler is going to get automatically solved here by not naming the method itself, which is ultimately event handler. So important point to note over here, it has one drawback as well. Had it been suppose this way, suppose there are two buttons that we have got and both the buttons need to handle, let's say, same sort of function. Then that is going to go and create a problem. If at all we have got two buttons, two click events if we have to handle and same function if at all we have to assign to then giving name to a function was always good but in this case we just cannot afford to have same like like we just cannot use a kind of a kind of same function here reason behind that function does not have a name and we did not give one which means if at all there is another button suppose existing we will have to repeat the same code and we'll have to provide button 2 dot click then over here which means reusability of the code is almost gone whenever you start using something called as anonymous methods in case of .NET. But this discussion is not about anonymous methods. This discussion is about lambda expression. So what happens in lambda expression now is another important point to note. It always works against a delegate concept. So if at all button dot click happens, I did say compiler, please find out who's the delegate. So compiler created new event handler, I did say. Compiler gave a name to this method. And compiler, like oh, barring giving name to the method, compiler actually did not do anything great here. But then I'm going to ask compiler even much more. I'm going to ask compiler now. Compiler. Create an object of some delegate on the right hand side. I don't know what is that. 
the compiler will go and use reflection to find out how click is defined then i'm going to go and ask if you notice this again if i say f12 if you see compiler has access to this click compiler can find out event handler using reflection but if you notice event handler's declaration event handler's declaration itself conveys that the first parameter is of type object and second parameter is of type event args then can't compiler actually convert these types automatically for us like it expects two parameter will provide two parameter maybe let's say s comma e and then we can just say goes to goes to this method without a name so this is again completely insane we are actually asking too much to compiler now compiler give a name to the method on the right hand side i don't know which method is that compiler will give a name compiler itself is going to one create new event handler on the right hand side by finding or by using reflection compiler itself is going to one convert s as an object and e as an event args by knowing the signature of event handler in turn which means going to second level of reflection and then compiler is going to one offer a name to this method and that's the reason the code will work as it is then which means we have actually taken the reusability to you can say another extent which means or another level now reusability is actually seems to be completely gone here but then if i tell you this lambda expression concept this this symbol is called as goes to this lambda expression concept was never meant for you can say things like this button dot click plus equal to and so on we do use like one of one of the important point to note over here if at all we are passing two parameters do i need to know the parameters do i need to know the type of the parameter then s and e absolutely no when you do not know the parameter type then also you can write down the methods that means which means if you if you look at this this actually seems if you, if is seen from other angle it looks like i am writing a method for which i do not know what parameters i am passing and now if you notice where am i coming back to i am coming back to anonymous types which means imagine the time we define anonymous type i did say to you that is you just cannot pass on anonymous type as a parameter to some method also but what if i want to what if i want to sort that array that we created some time back of anonymous types can we write down the methods then you can very well but then keep it in mind those methods must be written with the help of lambda expression because lambda expression is going to call cast your input parameters according to what they are of and that is going to be very interesting topic altogether so how do i start using lambda expression in my code line as i said you obviously you require a delegate on the left hand side so how do i use delegate on the left hand side how do i define a delegate which will help me point to a method which can take anonymous type itself as a parameter so then that's where we come will come back to something called link queue and then before we understand link queue one more topic which is called as func delegate and something called as action delegate is what will be there on our agenda